Hi, learners. Once again, I am Mom Sharnas, your English 5 teacher. And welcome or welcome back to our English class. In this video, our lesson is to make a stand. English 5, Milk Bakes Lesson, Quarter 3, Lesson 3, Week 3. Our lesson objective is to be able to make a stand. And just like in my previous videos, I will also speak in Tagalog para mas madali niyong maunawaan ang ating lesson. What's in? Are you aware of the issues happening in our country? Maybe you know a lot in the world of social media, online gaming, hit songs, and trending news. Maaari ngayon ay alam mo ang mga trending na balita, mga usong online games, mga usong kanta, at iba pang uri ng mga issues o balita na makikita maaring sa TV, sa internet, or maging sa radio. Were you able to agree or disagree with the trending issues that we encounter nowadays? Nakapagbibigay ka ba ng opinion mo tungkol sa mga balitang napapanood mo ngayon? Maaaring ikaw ay sumang-ayon or nag-agree doon sa napanood mong balita or issue. Maaari din namang ikaw ay Hindi sumang-ayon or nag-disagree doon sa napanood mo. Can you give your own point of view or standpoint on these issues in our society? Kaya mo bang magbigay ng sarili mong pananaw tungkol sa mga issues or balita na napapanood mo ngayon? Yan ang nga alamin natin sa ating lesson today. So what do we mean when we say making a stand or taking a stand? Taking a stand means to voice your opinion on issues that are happening. Ito yung pagbibigay mo ng personal na pananaw or opinion sa mga kaganapan, sa mga problema, o sa mga issues na nangyayari. To make a stand is to determine whether you agree or disagree. Dahil nagbigay ka ng opinion or nagbigay ka ng pananaw, ibig sabihin ikaw ay sumasang-ayon or di sumasang-ayon sa mga isyong ito. To defend something and to oppose or comment something. Ibig sabihin, kaya mong depensahan o kaya mong patunayan kung bakit sumang-ayon ka o hindi doon sa isang issue. Para mas maging malinaw, let's answer this activity of agree or disagree. Tandaan, Ang ibig sabihin ng agree ay sumasang-ayon at ang ibig sabihin ng disagree ay hindi ka sumasang-ayon. Tell whether you agree or disagree on the following statement. Pause this video and comment your answer down below. After answering this activity, here are some questions to ponder. What can you say about those issues or statements? How many items have you agreed? And what are these items? How many items have you disagreed? And what are these items? What is your opinion about those statements? What makes you decide that you agree or disagree with those statements. So, ito yung mga questions na maaari mong sagutin na lang sa sarili mo. In the activity that you have done, you have already shown your opinion about issues happening within the society. You may choose to agree or disagree. Making a stand means you can defend your decision, whether you agree or disagree on a certain issue. Sa pagbibigay mo ng opinion, kaya mo itong ipaliwanag kung bakit ikaw ay sumang-ayon o hindi sumang-ayon. Sometimes, there is no right or wrong answer. Minsan, wala naman talagang tama o maling sagot. Ang importante, 
kaya mong i-defend or ipaliwanag. You can justify that your answer or standpoint on that issue is right. Here are the tips on making a stand. Look at your own experiences. Collect information about the topic. Always base your opinion on facts. Know what is right and wrong and always be on the right side. Narrate your opinion properly by stating all your reasons. The key is to completely believe in the topic. If you do not believe on what you are telling, you cannot convince the listener or the reader. Remember the formula? Information plus personal experience equals your stand. Let me explain these tips one by one. First tip, look at your own experiences. Bago ka magbigay ng sariling opinion or pananaw sa isang issue, tingnan mo muna yung sarili mong experience o karanasan. Kung wala ka pang personal na karanasan or experience doon sa statement na yun or sa isang issue, ilagay mo ang sarili mo sa pangyayaring yun. Then, think of the effect of that action to you. Let's have an example. Here is the statement. Everyone should experience to watch movies, use Facebook, and play online games anytime they want. Do you agree or disagree na lahat ng tao kailangan ma-experience ang panonood ng movies, paggamit ng Facebook, at paglalaro ng online games kahit kailan nila gusto? Do you agree on that statement or do you disagree? Paano tayo magbibigay ng ating opinion dito? How will we defend our answer? Let's go back on tip number one. Look at your own experiences. Sa tingin mo, may maganda bang epekto kung gagawin mo ang mga activities na ito kahit kailan mo gusto? Isipin mo ang magiging epekto sa iyo nito. If it has good or bad effect on you. And here is the example of standpoint on this statement. I disagree. This should not be done anytime you want. It should be done only when we have finished our important task in work, home, or school. It should become some sort of reward to self after accomplishing something because too much exposure to these activities may hinder us in doing productive things. Tip number 2. Collect information about the topic. Always base your opinion on facts. Gather more information about the topic or issue, especially if you do not know much about it. Kailangan mong mag-research or mangalap muna ng impormasyon dahil hindi ka naman makapagbibigay ng maayos na paliwanag o opinion kung wala ka masyadong alam doon sa issue. Don't just rely on experience. Of course, experience is a good thing. Pero iba pa rin talaga yung meron kang supporting facts. A good standpoint is based on facts. Let's have an example. The statement is, We must conserve water. Kailangan nating magtipid ng tubig. How about you, learners? What is your standpoint about this statement? I agree, because water is one of the most important substance on earth. Without water, people and all the living creatures cannot live. Perhaps you may think that we have plenty of water to use, but that's not the case. According to study, now we only have 1% of drinkable water. And that fact alone is an enough reason why we must conserve water. So, ano dito yung factual or truthful information na nai-research natin bago tayo nagbigay ng opinion? According to study, now we only have 1% of drinkable water. 
this information is a strong statement in our standpoint. Tip number three. Know what is right and wrong and always be on the right side. Dapat alam mo kung ano ba ang tama at ano ang mali. You should know the proper thing to do and not to do. Do not choose what's easy or convenient or what feels good. Always defend or stand on what is right and just. Let's have an example. Will you agree or disagree on this statement? Students should be allowed to bring gadgets in school. Ang mga estudyante ay dapat payagang magdala ng gadgets sa paaralan. Like what I said earlier, sometimes there is no right or wrong answer. It just depends on your standpoint. Minsan, meron din namang punto kung bakit sila nag-agree. Meron din namang punto kung bakit sila nag-disagree. Sometimes, it's just complicated na kailangan irespeto na lang din natin kung ano ba yung kanilang opinion. Lalo na kung nagawa naman nila itong ipaliwanag ng maayos. So, here is an example of standpoint in this statement. I disagree because students might use it even in class hours. Many students are being caught on using cell phones during class and even use it to cheat on their quizzes even if bringing gadgets are not allowed. What more if school will allow it? How about you learners? Try to give your own opinion. Will you agree or disagree? Maaring meron sa inyo na sasagot ng agree. It is your own opinion. I cannot say that you are wrong. Especially if there's an important or urgent matter that they have to discuss with their siblings. Kung may emergency sa kanilang bahay, kailangan nilang tawagan ng cellphone or sa pag-message sa kanilang service. Nakadepende na lang yan talaga kung bakit ka nag-agree or disagree. Pareho namang may point. Mas titimbangin na lang natin kung... Ano ba talaga yung mas mahalaga? Narrate your opinion properly by stating all your reasons. The key is to completely believe in the topic. If you do not believe on what you are telling, you cannot convince the listener or the reader. Sa pagbibigay ng iyong opinion, kailangan mapaliwanag mo ito. Ibigay mo lahat ng iyong dahilan kung bakit. Muna sabi ang isang bagay. Paano masabi? And the key is to completely believe in the topic. Kasi kung hindi mo kayang paniwalaan mismo ang mga sinabi mo or ang mga pinaliwanag mo, you cannot convince the listener or the reader. Kailangan confident ka sa sagot mo. You must properly give your reasons why you agree or disagree. Here is an example of a statement and tell me whether you agree or disagree. I am lucky to be a Filipino. Here is the example of the standpoint in this statement. You can give your own as well. I believe that I am lucky to be a Filipino. I may not be living in the most peaceful or wonderful place, but I am lucky to live in a democratic country. I am proud to be born and raised by my loving Filipino parents, carrying the characteristics of Filipino. Free, but not liberated. Conservative, but strong. Hospitable, resilient, and most importantly, God-loving. And let's go back to those tips isa-isahin natin, learners. Here are the tips on how you can make a stand. First, look at your own experiences. Second, collect information about the topic and always base your opinion on facts. Third, know what is right and wrong and always be on the right side. 
And then the fourth and last, narrate your opinion properly by stating all your reasons. The key is to completely believe in the topic. If you do not believe on what you are telling, you cannot convince the listener or the reader. And of course, always remember the formula. Information plus personal experience equals your own stand or opinion. Did you understand your lesson? I hope you do. And to check that, let's have some fun activity time. Read the essay and answer the questions that follow. Online Gaming Addiction Most of the school children nowadays are playing online video games. This is a very big problem and a common concern on most families around the world. Instead of studying lessons or doing household chores, most children are wasting their time in playing electronic games such as Mobile Legends, Dota, car racing, and a lot more. They play games to entertain themselves. However, it exists the possibility to become addicted to online games at some others. Here are the questions to answer. Let's proceed to learning task 2. Read an excerpt from the article entitled Plastic Pollution, then answer the question below using the t-chart. Learning Task 3 I hope that you'll be able to answer these learning tasks that I give you. And that is it for our lesson today. I hope you really learned something in this video. Once again, I am Mom Sharness, your English 5 teacher. Till next time, class dismissed.